Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I will be giving you a few tips and tricks of Swipe Elite Plus. Swipe Elite Plus is running on Freedom OS. It has a lot of customization options. So I will be explaining few of those in this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, just hit the red subscribe button and you are ready to go. So to start off, let me lock the screen first. If you want to open the mobile, I just have to double tap on the screen. It will wake up the screen. As soon as it wakes up, you will see there are few options available both on top of the bottom. So these were the notification toggles and uh, these were the shortcuts that they have included. So because of these two shortcuts that were available in the smartphone, I never used my smartphone uh, too much. It just uh, eases me to use the smartphone because all my basic needs are provided in the lock screen itself. So it's kind of uh, easy for me to stay updated. So if you look at here, they have provided calculator, music player, selfie, contacts and the QR scanner. If you want to open calculator, all I have to do is just double click on the calculator. It will open up a pair. I have to unlock the smartphone. So once I unlock, it will take me directly to the calculator. So it gives you quick access to all the shortcuts. So these are the shortcuts that you see in the lock screen. And if you want to change these up, just unlock your smartphone. Go to settings. And go to lock screen. You see this function option, just hit that. So these were the shortcuts that currently visible at the lock screen. So if you want to change this, so if you want to add a start sound recording or set alarm, I have to press on set alarm. I have to bring it to the top. So this is how you can set the quick functions in the lock screen. And when you see at the top, there is a shortcut for Chrome, Wi-Fi, camera, flashlight. So most of the time I use my Wi-Fi and my flashlight. So it just gives me easy access to both these options. I don't have to unlock the phone each and every time to access these shortcuts. So if you want to change this up, you have the option to change these things. So if you want to change this, first unlock your device. So once the device is unlocked, you can able to scroll it from the middle of the screen and you will see these shortcuts. Just hit the more button. It will take you to the swipe launcher icon. So you can see all the options that are highlighted here, which are displayed in the notification toggle. So if you want to switch any of these uh, shortcuts, all you have to do is just click this uh, right top corner button and it will take you to the custom notification area. So for example, if I want to change camera, I have to select camera and uh, I want to select the different uh, app which I want to use here. For example, if I want to use uh, my Gmail, so I can select Gmail. So once you select that, it will automatically update it over here. You can check that. So this is the home screen. If you keep on pressing on the home screen, it will show you these options. Swipe customize wallpaper, theme, rate, system, swipe launcher setting. So let's go from swipe customize. So inside swipe customize, you will see these options. So starting from app drawer, FX, layout, size, color, folder, you can customize almost everything in your smartphone. So for that, just go to app drawer. So you can see the first thing I noticed in the smartphone after receiving the smartphone was its app drawer. I can able to set my picture on the app drawer. It looks kind of weird, but it's, it's pretty cool. So I set my picture in the app drawer and I also select the custom shape. So this is a nice option. So let's go to home and see. So this is it. This is the app drawer. So once you click that, it will take you to the app drawer. So next effects, you can change the effects in which these transactions are done. And you can also change the layout as per your needs. And size, you can change the size of these apps. Let me show you. So currently I've increased it to 150. So this is how big it looks once it is increased to 150. I'll stick with 100. It's perfect for the five inch screen. The next option is folder option. This is the nice feature. Uh, this one looks uh, pretty cool because I selected the iOS feature. You can also select the Android one if you want. But this one feels much comfortable while uh, searching for the apps. And the next one is app animation. If you want to go, you can select this app animation depending on your needs. So this one interesting feature, you can turn the status bar on or off if you don't want. So currently I turned on the status bar. So if you want, you can turn it on here. So the next page, you will see this notification toggle available. So if you hide that, you won't see this uh, notification toggle that we saw before. 
So if you want to enable that again, just turn it on. You will see this circle in the left hand side. So which indicates that the notification toggle is available. So next one is label. You can turn on and off the label. You can lock the desktop or you can use the infinite scroll. The next one is you can add apps onto your home screen. So particular screen in which screen you want to add. You can select all the apps in your smartphone. And you can also create a folder. So if you want to create a folder, you can create a folder and you can add the apps here. So the swipe actions are also available. You can use either these swipe actions for quick access like locking the screen or any other stuffs. You can able to add widgets from here. So currently I haven't added any widgets. If you want, you can check that. You can also create shortcuts in your home screen. You can use any of these shortcuts in your home screen. That's That will help you in quick access to all these shortcuts. So the next one is wallpaper and themes. So currently there are few wallpapers and themes available. You can go to the shop online theme shop so i haven't installed anything so currently i just have the default one if you want you can select vast number of collections let's go to swipe launcher setting in swipe launcher setting you will see these options there are a lot of options available to customize uh, starting from home screen app drawer dock example if you want to go to home screen you can select the number of uh, rows number of columns that you want in your home screen and transaction effect fade side effect so a lot of options available so you can uh, customize this based on your needs just play with it there are a lot of options to play with you can also select the same for your uh, app drawer almost everything you can uh, customize in your smartphone the other uh, freedom OS in swipe mobile uh, is highly customizable i never felt this much control over my smartphone with just click of a button so the one option i want to show you is you can switch back to lollipop launcher if you want but i am comfortable with this freedom OS so I am sticking with this swipe launcher, it's pretty good. So you can set this uh, gesture options. And uh, if you want to change that, you can hit that. You can change the pinch in option to swipe actions or apps or shortcuts. So currently I want to change it to Gmail. So whenever I try to pinch in on the screen, whenever I try to pinch in on the screen, it will open up Gmail. The same way you can customize a lot of options, a lot of gestures are also available. You can customize this pinch out, swipe up, swipe down, double tap, two fingers, swipe down, sweep, two fingers, swipe up. So a lot of options are available in the swipe gestures. So it will be very useful. If you can customize these according to your needs, you can get a lot out of this swipe gesture. That's it from the lock screen and the launcher app. Let me give you the next tips. So if you keep on pressing on the app, it will show you these options either you can reset that particular app or you can remove that but uh, for few apps you have the options to rename also so if you want so if you want to rename this app i can rename this app so only system app you cannot rename or you can you cannot edit but to all these other apps you have multiple options swipe customers rename app info uninstall so a lot of options is available for other apps so that's the option in the home screen so the next biggest to change that you see in this swipe freedom OS was the search bar so you can see the instead of google it's showing something so when you click that it will take you to the swipe search engine there's also another way to go to the search engine so you can you have to scroll from bottom to top and it will open the swipe search engine so as soon as i typed whatsapp it's showing me the whatsapp application Below that, it's also showing me the messages that is related to WhatsApp and below that, it's showing me search web pages. So this is one quick intelligent uh, search engine that allows you to search each and everything from your smartphone to internet. The next option is, so as soon as you open the app drawer, so one thing is, you see there is a separate group I created. So here's where you can able to arrange between A to Z and uh, you can also able to hide the apps. By going into the swipe launcher setting, go to the app drawer. At last, you will see these options add apps, add groups, and add folders. So, within the app drawer, you can add the apps, you can add groups, you can add folders. So, I will show you a sample. So, I already added a folder and created a group here, and you can see the added apps over here. So, these three options were very helpful. If you want to create a group, with the apps that you use uh, most frequently, you can change, use that. You can also able to create folders inside the app drawer. This feature is really cool. And the next one is you can hide few apps that you want to hide from other people. 
So coming on to the next option, you can see there is a swipe box available. It will allow you to store up to 100 GB space in aggregating all the user data from all different uh, accounts. If you want to add more accounts, you can go here and you can add you can add other accounts from here. So by using this Dropbox, Box, OneDrive and Mega, you can add up to 100 GB of uh, storage and all this 100 GB of storage will be combined here and with, uh, with just one click in this swipe box, you synchronize all your data from one place. Integrated access to all the 100 GB possible in one go. If you open the call logs, so you can see all the recent calls. So if you want to open something, so if I want to hit this, as soon as I click the name of the person, it, it shows me call SMS details are clear. So I, I don't have to go into the call list and don't have to search for the name and search for the particular number to call. So as soon as I hit the name, it shows me call option, SMS option, details and clear option. So that allows me to reach to the person even faster than what I used to do in the previous uh, call logs. I hope this video was helpful. I tried to cover all the possible tips and tricks I know from this Swipe Elite Plus with this Freedom OS. If I missed something or if you want to see more videos of this Swipe Elite Plus or any other smartphone, do let me know in the comment section below. I will try to do that video in the next possible days. I also made few videos of this Swipe Elite Plus. You don't want to miss out that. So do check my other videos of Swipe Elite Plus and I also compare this Swipe Elite Plus with Coolpad Note 3 and other stuff. If you're shopping online and if you're not sure which one to buy at the best price, you can directly contact me on my Facebook page. I will leave the link in the description. You can directly contact me there. I will always there to assist you out. Do like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Hope to see in my next video. This is Thames signing off.